no, I never know. Um, well done. Third place. I can't believe it. I absolutely, I, I seriously can't believe it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm over the moon. I really am. I, you know, just to be in the final, I've been over the moon. <coughs> I feel like I've been in a bonus round for three weeks. I expected to go first week. And to be, to come in the top three, I'm, I'm absolutely made up, you know, yeah. totally over the moon. Um, You've overcome quite a lot in your life. Uh, where does this rank? Um, oh, it's you mean tricky, the whole experience? It's quite a tricky experience. Yeah, it, it might beat them all hands down. No, uh, <laughs> li listen, there have been some great moments in there. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm incredibly grateful to have had the opportunity. Um, and it's been a, you know, it's, it's a unique experience. And, to uh, be honest, I think that has shone through, hasn't it? That you did seem really grateful to be there. I was and I am. And yeah. that it felt like you were kind of taking everything in and trying to learn from it. Yeah. About yourself and other people and... You know. I really was, because I think you can take out of it what you choose to, yeah. as, as shallow or as deep as you choose to. But, and I knew I wasn't going to be the most dynamic of housemates, because, uh, you know, I don't party anymore. I can't party anymore. So um, the fact that I've come where I've come, I'm, honestly, I'm really absolutely over the moon. Thank you very much to everyone who voted for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, what has it been like in there? Daniela was saying earlier on that we only see a little snippet of, of all of your day. And that was traumatic enough for us watching. So living it 24-7, what was the confrontation like? Because it, it seemed like it was consistent. Yeah, and you, you really feel it, even if it's not you. Sing us a song. <laughs> even if it's not you. <laughs> no, that would ruin your whole evening, let me tell you. But, um... Even if it's not your argument and yeah. it's not your tension to feel, in that scenario, and especially as it gets fewer numbers, you, you know, you really feel it and pick up upon it, you know, and... Uh, but it, how did you avoid it? I because no you did idea. seem to just... You know, I know people said you sat on the fence, but sometimes... Well, you just don't want to be bogged down no, in other people's no. f do you? And I think... Um, well, so. <laughs> but I think the thing is, as a young man, I was very volatile. The last time I did a, a reality show, I, I was quite volatile on that. Um, that's not how I live my life anymore. Yeah. And uh, I didn't go in, you know, I always said I would rather be first out and have less airtime if that meant that I wasn't going to, you know, have lost my rag with anybody or, you know. So, um, but it's not easy to deal with in there, you know, but, but I did what I, what I do in normal life. I didn't go in there and I wasn't any different in there to what I am in, in my yeah. life. That's how I try to be in my... You know, in my so life, you stay generally. true to yourself, and you've done what you wanted to do, and that was show the other side to you, or the side that is now. Yeah. Do you know, and and like John said the other night, it doesn't matter that that's the way you've come across, that's the way you is, and that's what you wanted to do, and you've done I it, know. and you've come third all, for it. So I know, well done. And all I wanted to do was just have the was just, you know, maybe given the opportunity for the British public and the British media to to have an opinion on me now. They don't have to like me or dislike me, but just have an opinion on me where I'm at yeah. now, rather than. To not you still know, be thinking about the guy that they read about ago. for many years, yeah. you know. Um, uh, uh, we've got to talk about launch night. You put yourself in that box. Um, oh yeah. Uh, John was like, "I'm going to put myself in," and then you went, "I'm going to do it too." Were you being chivalrous, uh, or was that part of a plan? No, it was. It was definitely the first one uh, because I heard. I can't remember which one of the girls what it was, but one of them said, "I'm claustrophobic." And I thought... That would be Gemma, probably. Was it? <laughs> Maybe. She said it quite a lot. But I thought, you know what, I, could, I, we, I thought it was going to be one of those little crates. So I thought, look, you know, we've got to do the right thing here, you know, and I'm a bit old-fashioned like that, and I think John is too. So what, we did it for genuine reasons, right. you know. Um, let's, go, uh, let's talk more about you and John, because obviously that was quite a big part of your, of your experience, was you were really good friends with him, mm. And then he nominated you face to face. Yeah. Um, how did that feel? Uh, because for quite a while, you didn't seem to know whether you could trust him. You didn't know whether him being your friend was genuine, or, exactly. or you know, you did seem very conflicted in how you felt about him. And that was the problem in moving on. You know, uh, I, I didn't know his reasons, and, it, it, and I, I was. Uh, it upset me because you know we were we were in that room for a long time on our own. We talked a lot. I was a fan of John's anyway. And it did hurt me a lot at the time. And it's a very strange feeling when uh, you're feeling hurt and vulnerable on national telly. And I'm not used to really feeling vulnerable at this point in life because I don't, you know, I'm quite strong. Um, I'm quite strong these days. 
but look, anyway, you know, when, was when it Gillian more told me because that, of the subject matter as well, because yeah. it was almost questioning. Yeah, my, your my and exactly. And that was like what that. it was, you know. Right. And I thought that's why I stopped him and went. Let's just make sure that yeah. you make it clear, you know. How do you feel about John now? Well, everything is cool, you know. When Gillian told me that I was physically constipated because I was emotionally constipated, I figured <laughs> let it go, <laughs> let it go in more ways than one. In fact, but, uh, <laughs> so I did, and look, we're all sorted now, and you know, I think it's all alright. Um, out of these two, who would you like to see win? Oh, I, do you know what? They've both been on such a journey, if I'm completely honest, the Scott 18, but, but I think Steph's done so well to pull herself round and get to the top two. I'm really pleased for both of them. Yeah. Here are your best bits. Oh. It's Darren Day. Hi, oh, darling. Hello, mate. Like, he's such a nice bloke, like... Holy moly. Such a nice man. Yeah. We all love you, Darren. Your objective was to not be known as a booze, yeah. drug-taking love rat. Especially now, it may have gone too far the other way. <laughs> for what he's been through, he's in really good nick. There's only one woman for me, and that's my wife. I don't understand. I wish to nominate Darren. I've seen him pick up habits he had discarded before he came into this house. You hurt me like <laughs> me. Got to start getting some <laughs> Darren. Right off. Have you ever fantasized about cheating on your wife? Never. You're standing there, baby. I'm so proud of you. You feel so tense. Five poos in three weeks is not great going, is it, really? It's not a great ratio, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> but some of my best times in this house have been with Darren Day. You are the British George Clooney. You are gorgeous, Darren. Hey, fair. Oh, you really are. He's probably one of the nicest people I've ever met. Every time I've used the expression, that is no offence. I am so attracted to Darren. I'm going to walk out of here a much more positive person. It's been life-changing. Big brother, thank you. Thank you. Gorgeous George, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you, Emma. You're free. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.